So we are wrapping up our two months here in Portugal and we want to share with you our costs for the last two months that we've been here. So a little bit different. We're going to break down um, what we spent in each location, but ultimately give you a total at the end, uh, about just an average over the two months. Over the two months, yeah. You know, it's been great. We've loved it down here. Mm -hmm. um, the number one expense for us, obviously, is our rent. And um, in Cabinus, it was a little bit less than it is here in Lagos. Mm -hmm. um, it was earlier in the season, might have had something to do with it. Um, the place we had in Cabinus didn't have a balcony or deck on it. That might have had something to do with it as well. Probably. It did have uh, access to a swimming pool, which was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. It was two bedroom, two bathroom. We spent $1,076 on that Airbnb. Yeah. We thought that was pretty reasonable. It was affordable for yeah. everything that we got, and we absolutely loved it in yeah. Cabinus. So, yeah. And uh, I would have to say that Lagos, we knew we were going to be paying more in Lagos. It's just more of a tourist destination, and so yeah. pricing is, is higher there. So our place in Lagos, we absolutely love. It is uh, amazing. It has a great deck. It's two bedroom, two bath. Uh, we have a view of the marina, a view of the pool. Really kind of yeah. hard to beat. It more, <laughs> more, more than we normally would spend it is more than we would normally yes. have spent but uh we also ended up a little bit story on that we ended up in portugal not necessarily planned but because yeah. of some happenings in the world we altered our, <laughs> our original plans and we ended up here so some of the rentals we got may have been um, a little bit more because of yeah. the last minute choice as well so our rental here in lagos came in at 1380 dollars yeah so more than we normally more, more spend for spend. sure <laughs> if you watch our, our cost By of a long shot. yeah so the two months combined rent here was $2,456. Mm -hmm. Now our grocery bills, we, we tend to eat in a lot more than we do eat out. As a matter of fact, we eat in 95% of the time. Yeah. So our grocery bill tends to be a little bit higher than maybe yours might be. So in Cabinus, now they had grocery stores that were very adequate, mm -hmm. had everything we needed. We had to go to the butcher a couple times. We had to move around a little bit. Wasn't that big of a deal, but we did eat in most of the time yeah. we ate out maybe four or five times but our grocery bill in cabinets came to 288 dollars now in lagos we actually didn't eat out we ate out one time on a day <laughs> trip um but otherwise we ate in for every meal so yeah. we spent a bit more on groceries in lagos but we also kind of enjoyed that because first off we love cooking in or i love cooking in and our grocery store here was so nice and one of the biggest grocery stores that we've been near had everything that we could possibly need and it was honestly less than a block away from our right. condo so hard to beat but that has been fantastic and we only spent here 340 dollars which to me for all of our meals in was still incredibly affordable right and when you add those two together 628 dollars for two months worth of groceries mm -hmm. is is pretty within our budget. So we were, we were pretty we happy, were happy with, with that. that. Yes. And, uh, and on a note, as far as groceries in Portugal, uh, what we have found is very affordable. Yeah. 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 We haven't had any problems. No. Um, What's your 12 pack of beer? 749. <laughs> he knows that one by yeah. heart. <laughs> but everything that we have found, there are some items here that you do pay a little bit more on. Uh, but in general, I would say that you're paying I don't know, in our experience, maybe half the price that we were yeah. paying maybe in the States as a comparison. I would suggest if you are looking at a place uh, to you go to numero.com, we'll put the link for that below. And that, we have found that to be pretty spot on. What that does, that number it, in. it compares the prices between mm -hmm. wherever you're at right now and where you want to go. Well, you can, yeah, you can yeah. compare them against each other, which right. has been so great because when we have a place that we love that's affordable, we can then compare it against that one and see if it's going to fit in our budget. Okay, entertainment. What do we do to entertain ourselves? Usually we just go for beers. Mm -hmm. Go for walks, beers. Go for walks, like beers. Yeah. Usually it's stuff that's free, but the beers never come free. You gotta pay for those. We do a lot more of that than we do on any excursions or, or anything that costs a high dollar amount. Mm -hmm. Now for Cabinus, we didn't have a deck on our Airbnb, so we had to go out for beers. And those beers cost us $115 for that month. Yeah. And we, we actually, we found a place there that we absolutely loved uh, with a great view. And honestly, what yeah. made made the place awesome. And then we kept going back was the waiter. He was fantastic. Yeah. And we just had great conversations with him. He was worth twice <laughs> what we were paying for the beers. So we had a great time. Yeah. So, so if you make good, it to Cabanas, check it out. Good dude. Yeah. Yeah. 
So now in Lagos, uh, we spent less on entertainment because we didn't go out as much for beers because we didn't need to get out of the house in that sense. We had a fantastic deck to sit on yeah. and enjoy beers or wine right there. So in Lagos, we ended up only spending $78. So Well, it's because those six, those 12 packs of beers were costing uh, $7.49. <laughs> so I just ran across the street and grabbed some 12 packs and bring it back. that way. Yeah. So two months worth of entertainment for Carrie and I only came to $193. We're easy to entertain. We're easy to entertain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, couple things though, there are other things that you can do when you're Absolutely. here. A lot of other things that you can do, uh, especially here where we are now. They're kind of, I think, the capital of all these uh, just day tours and yeah. stuff like that. So one really popular one is the cave uh, kayak tour mm -hmm. and that will run about $35 and we looked at doing it, but we had some unexpected expenses come up, which we'll <laughs> share with you further down the list here. You know, and there's golf. There's golf courses all over the place down here. You can rent clubs, you can rent a cart. Um, and the prices I felt were very reasonable. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay anywhere between 50 to hundred dollars a round for 18 rounds of golf, 18 holes of golf. You can get club rentals and a cart rental for $35, I believe I saw. Now we'll leave a link down to the, all those below too. It's a great website that gives you yeah. all the golf courses in the entire region. So you can check that out as well. Okay, transportation costs. Now we don't include airfare getting here. We just include what it took for us to get around down here in the Algarve or whatever location mm -hmm. we're at. So here in Cabinus, we spent a hundred and sixteen dollars and that was mainly on the train yeah it was the train and then also the transport from the airport to our place right. in cabana so that was forty dollars of that so that was a right. big part uh we also took the ferry over to spain which was was kind of a cool thing yeah as well. you got to do that yeah you got to do that yeah. if you're down in that area so some things are transportation are also included in entertainment and it was fun just to take the ferry over to spain yeah so. definitely uh now here in lagos we spent less because we didn't have maybe that accessibility to hop on the train to go both ways right you know so we ended up going on a day trip to portima and we went on a day trip to aliferia mm -hmm. uh and one was on a bus and one was on the train and then we also did a day trip to lose so that was a total of forty dollars yeah the, the the day trip to lose was the city bus mm -hmm. so it was a lot less expensive yeah it was like three dollars yeah. uh, for each of us so our total transportation costs for two months down here in the algarve trains buses mm -hmm. 156 156 us dollars yeah not bad yeah now with that being said if i were you no matter how long you're staying here if you have the means rent a car. <laughs> it just makes things a lot easier. You're not on a bus schedule. You don't have to worry about whether the train's going to show up or not. You can go west of Lagos a lot easier and there are things to see west of Lagos. Mm -hmm. We just didn't want to go on an hour, hour and 15 minute bus ride again. So we didn't do it. Yeah. So if you have the means I'd rent a car and the prices really aren't too bad. The prices aren't bad. Um, they definitely are going to vary the time mm -hmm. of year that you're here. So right now you're looking at, when I just looked it up, it was like $70 a day. And in the winter time, it is about $20 a day. Now that is picking up your car from the airport. But if you go to the area that you're going to be staying and you rent from a private location yeah. there, we found prices here in Lagos for, yeah. it was $80 for three days. That's more reasonable. Yeah. much more reasonable so that would be something we would probably recommend yeah. doing if you do have the means to do it and with that you are gonna have to pay tolls there's a lot of tolls mm -hmm. here on the roads on the on the main highway anyway mm -hmm. and of course gas and we all know what's going on with gas right now so those are some expenses that you're gonna to have to add on to that rental yes. but with that I still think it might be worth it so now we have our miscellaneous cost and uh, normally our miscellaneous cost is a big old zero. Yeah, so much. <laughs> this time we had some costs on there. Uh, we both decided to get a sun hat. Uh, the sun does shine here yeah. like 300 and some days a year. I had so. to. <laughs> he had to. Yeah. He needed to cover his head. My forehead's bigger than it used to be. So. Uh, and so each of us paid $16, so a total of $32. Yeah. Well worth it. Yes. Okay, and another miscellaneous expense has everything to do with why we didn't go on the kayak tour or do any of those um, excursions that are very reasonable. We decided to go ahead, I, I decided to break a tooth. Uh, Carrie needed some uh, dental work suddenly as well. 
And with that, we decided each to get a cleaning and it was worth it. It was totally worth <laughs> it. it. It ended up costing us $262. We considered that super affordable and worth the trade off of not going on the kayak tour and getting yeah. that done. Um, and we would highly recommend the place we went to. It's called Go Dental here yes. in Lagos. Uh, fantastic yes. location. The people were incredibly kind. So yeah, if you're here and you need dental work, I hope you don't. But if you do, yeah. <laughs> check them out. Well, let's see, yeah, kayak tour, dentist. Uh... <laughs> Hey, we got our teeth cleaned. It's a fair trade-off, I guess. <laughs> okay, so the other thing I needed to get was an inhaler. Uh, I occasionally have to use an inhaler, not all the time, but my inhaler in the United States with medical insurance cost me $50 a month. With medical insurance. With medical insurance. <laughs> I got a new one, $5.20 for twice as many pumps. Yeah. So and no prescription and no, needed. No prescription needed. Mm -hmm. And my medical insurance does not cover the five dollar and twenty cents inhaler I just got. No. The other thing we checked on, I wear contact lenses, and so I was curious. I wouldn't need them just yet, but I was curious what they might cost here. And so we did go in and check, and I just wear a very basic one. Uh, it's common. And they ended up costing the same here, maybe actually a little bit more than what they would have cost me in the States. So I just decided to hold off on Yeah, this. and you didn't need a prescription for that either, no. right? right. No. Not that we're aware of. Not that we're aware of. Mm -hmm. Now, we did talk to a gentleman that's a local. Uh, he's an American mm -hmm. that's lived in Germany the last 30 years. Uh, he was telling us eyeglasses are a premium. They do cost a lot more uh, than what he's even used to. Mm -hmm. So so keep that in mind as well. Yeah. And so the co total cost for us for miscellaneous expenses was $294 for the two months. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's usually zero. Now we enter into our monthly reoccurring costs, and this is something that we just pay every single month. So if you've watched these before, then you know what they're going to be. Uh, the first one that we have is our health insurance. We go through Cigna Global. Uh, our plans each cost us $135 a month, and so that was a total of $540 for the two months. For two months. Mm -hmm. Now our other reoccurring monthly expense is our phone plan. Sometimes we get one, sometimes we don't. These last two months, we have not gotten a phone plan. We just didn't feel like we needed it. We use the Foursquare app where we can find passwords in the app for any restaurant in town, most any restaurant in town. So we write those passwords down. We use Wi-Fi just about everywhere we go. Right, and as soon as you've logged into one of those places once, when we go to walk by them again, um, all of a sudden we'd have service. So we, service. we just really didn't yeah. find we needed it. Our other reoccurring costs is every month we have Netflix and we have a VPN that we use for our computers and for our phones, which is really important. Uh, we pay $19 a month for both of those, so total of $38. And Netflix is more important than the VPN. Yeah, we use our Netflix. If you have any good show recommendations, put them in the comments. <laughs> We're running out of ideas. <laughs> okay, now before we get to the grand total, if you would like to support this channel, we just ask that you subscribe and give us a like. Yeah. That's it. That's all you got to do. <laughs> we appreciate we it. We appreciate it. We yeah. really do. So our grand total for two months here in the Algarve, where we had an absolutely fantastic time and highly recommend it, was $4,310. So balanced over two months, we spent $21.55. Now we had a great time down here in the Algarve. We highly recommend you come. If you haven't seen our pros and cons video, you can watch that right here. We're gonna close this one out. We will see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.